So much of my daily life is about plants because obviously my job drawing them, but being around them, I have lots of plants. So they're in my life <laughs> daily and caring for them is quite an interesting relationship. I would feel confused by anyone who isn't fascinated by plants and animals. I love the symmetry of lots of natural forms. I love the detail. I think that with plants, my favorite thing is looking inside them, the cross sections, and the cross sections of anything I'm fascinated by. I like the layers and the microscopic detail. That's what really like draws me in. There's something about drawing plants and animals that came naturally to me. But there is a slight strangeness to them, which I get from old natural history illustrations that have this kind of curiosity or this strangeness. When I was doing the book, I was walking around constantly thinking, oh, what's that? I'd like to add that into the book. I spent a lot of time in the gardens, walking around, choosing plants directly from there. Being allowed into the herbarium was amazing. It's such an incredible place. I think they've got something like seven million dried plants. I mean, their collections are just the best in the world, so to have access to that was such a privilege. There's not a single plant in there that I'm not happy with, or there's not a drawing that I don't feel proud of. And that's really good, because that's I don't think I've ever had that with, with a project before, where every bit of it I feel is right. The diversity is such a pleasure within my line of work, because each year I've had amazing new projects that I never saw come in. I worked with Barnaby Fillion, the perfume maker. I'm working on a project at the moment with Azuma Makoto, the florist and artist. Well, sharing ideas is important. You can't just sit on your own and create work. You need to share and bring in other people's disciplines and that's where your best work is going to come from for sure. <laughs>